possible. Make uh, it worthwhile. Um, any questions, please chat away. Uh, we will address them um, at the end. Uh, there's nothing like a silly question at all. Uh, you're all here to learn and help your child. So that's what matters. Okay, so um, a little bit about myself. I'm an independent educational um, consultant and I'm a college counselor. I did my college counseling from UC Berkeley. And now um, students who go to UC Berkeley sometimes shadow me for my uh, counseling techniques. So with that, um, I'm going to start my presentation. Uh, you can uh, type away any questions you have. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Maui, can you see my screen? Uh, yeah, Molly, I will unmute you. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, I did ask uh, to unmute you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So are you seeing the right screen, Molly? Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you're here uh, to learn about the BSMD uh, application process and how to build a profile uh, that is uh, like Stellar for BSMD. And also I'll go over what is the acceptance rate for BSMD and the different options. Okay, so let's get started. A bit about me. I was, I mean, I'm not an immigrant. I studied in India. I was frustrated with the lack of clarity in the college admission process here when I was going through uh, with my older son. It was extremely frustrating. Uh, and uh, when when I became a counselor is when I realized that uh, it's 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 deliberately made to confuse you. Um, and um, I mean, nobody stands a real chance until you dig deep and get the right kind of information. Got it. So that's why I started this whole uh, process, the Facebook group uh, and social media posts to basically educate and empower parents. And uh, my uh, motto is to be unapologetically ambitious for your child. Got it. So that's why. Uh, I made it my mission to demystify the college process. Okay, a bit about my background. I'm a Tony Robbins certified life coach. I'm also a positive psychology coach. Um, I coach uh, ADHD kids um, as well. Um, and uh, I'm trained under Peg Dawson. She's a leading psychologist and an executive functioning coach. Executive functioning skills is a prefrontal cortex of the brain, which is all your planning, prioritization, time management, focus, all that uh, resides. And I also started off uh, as a study skills coach. So I was working with students who were either their grades were failing or they had uh, issues with uh, social skills. And as uh, a student's advocate, I would speak with the teachers to get their feedback and create a plan for students so that they could improve their grades. And, and my students did phenomenal um, when I guided them. But right now, I've, my focus is um, a lot more things, and I've not been able to do that one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, I have been able to create a course on study skills, uh, because I had to acquire all of them uh, to, to like teach students uh, when their grades were failing, right? And I use a lot of Peg Dawson's uh, material. I'm licensed to use them um, uh, for, for all my uh, courses that I use when I teach study skills and everything. Okay, and um, I'm also a meditation instructor and a pranic healer, and I did my college counseling from UC Berkeley. Okay, so let's set uh, the ball rolling. Uh, who is this pro uh, program or for, <laughs> right? You're in the right place if you're invested in your child's success. And um, you want to create a, a really, really stellar profile for them uh, with uh, expert mentorship, uh, passion projects, advanced study techniques. OK, I mean, you, you cannot like overnight excel in ac academics without having those kind of skills, discipline, 
planning, prioritization, time estimation, even taking down notes. I mean, that's so important. Without mastering study skills, I don't think a student can really excel in academics or take on the kind of um, AP courses. I'm sorry, I don't know what happens each time I try to share my screen. Um, this happens. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's that's where we are. Okay. And also, I offer research programs. Uh, at the moment, I'm revamping uh, the whole uh, research experience. I'm sorry. I don't think I can make this any bigger. So. Okay, so I'm just going to make this big enough so that it doesn't crash me. Okay, so so that's that's the way it is. Uh, right now, I'm working on getting um, different uh, professors who 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 like I I, I used to see my students uh, doing research on either Alzheimer's, geriatrics, or cancer or other things. So uh, I figured I should get uh, more experts into the program, and that's what we are working on. Um, creating a, a better research program. And if you're here, you want to outplay the competition, right? It's, it's, it's an extremely competitive field. Every child is working hard, right? So, so what is the blueprint that's needed uh, to sort of beat the competition? Then this is the right place for you. And you want to fuel your child's learning, right? Learning is something that is like very, very core. You have to be an eternal learner in order to excel, right? So that's what we teach. We teach students how to learn better, faster, and more efficiently, okay? And I'll just go over the agenda for today. Um, you will you will understand what the different, different medical paths are. Um, I'll, I'll show you the different options, BSDO. What are the key ingredients um, for a successful medical applicant? Um, You'll, you'll see our gifted GABA research and uh, what is our secret sauce uh, is what you will find out, okay? And this, this program or whatever services I am offering is not for you if you're looking for shortcuts, okay? Please um, look elsewhere. Um, and you, uh, I mean, it's like you, you're reluctant for your child to put in that hard work and effort, uh, then, our programs are not going to work for you. And um, you want to put like minimal effort and expect expect overnight success. And the first question that most parents ask me is, what is the uh, time commitment, right? But when you're looking at quality and uh, you're looking to create a profile, it's not uh, something that you can box it in or say that, hey, this is X number of hours is all you need to work, right? It's It's like, sky is the limit. And you you feel like it's just grades that are going to land you in the BSMB program. That's not true at all. And I'll show you what the components are. It's all about creating that wow factor in the extracurricular activities. Got it? You cannot blend it. Your child needs to stand out, needs to be at a really high level to get into these programs. Okay. And you're seeking a deal. <laughs> I mean, that's the that's the thing. I mean, there is no deal. Uh, you should always look at uh, the quality and the value. So that's what it is. OK, um, I do have freebies for uh, people who have attended in person. Uh, you will get a complete list of BSMD, BSDO guides and college lists and everything just here. I'm not going to share that uh, with people uh, who are not here. OK, so let's get started. OK, so the question is, are you ready to make an impact in your child's future? Yes or no? Yeah, I need a lot of uh, I know it's it's late in the evening, but yes, I I, I, I get off energy uh, from you guys. So, yes, thumbs up or thumbs down. Are you ready to make an impact? Yeah, good, good. So let's get going. Uh, OK, so our successes, uh, our students have gotten into Stanford, um, Johns Hopkins, Fulbright, UC Berkeley, Cornell, Carnegie Mellon. I mean, I can't fill out any more colleges here. The BSMD programs, I will explain further. St. Louis with 125K merit. NYU was pre-med. <clears throat> Vanderbilt, um, Vanderbilt was pre-med. Uh, Case Western and all the good universities our students have 
um, gotten into. Okay, so let's go over uh, as to why and how I started this whole program or why I took interest in digging deep and uh, coming up with a formula that, that a student can manage and apply, right? Um, that it, it happened during the pandemic. Right. Um, it, it was a big problem because uh, my students uh, didn't have those wow extracurricular activities. Uh, there was no shadowing. There was no lab work. Everything was shut down. It, it was a really, really hard time. And uh, SAT, ACT scores were optional. So the question came as to how could my students showcase their achievements uh, staying at home? And that's when I built uh, the research program, uh, which they could do uh, with a professor uh, virtually. And then I created the BSMD program, right? Um, okay, uh, let me just see that. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I made you a co-host, uh, Maui. Yeah. Okay, coach. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah. So that was one of the reasons uh, why I started it. Um, and and I, I created this whole program uh, because I, I had to figure out a way to, to crack the code for the BSMD. What is the formula? Like what, what, what uh, are they looking for in a candidate? And I worked backwards, right? And, and I built that, I infused what they wanted and that's how it's been successful from the past few years, okay? Um, so I was obsessed uh, with, with making BSMD counseling, um, a BSMD counseling mainstream and finding a solution. Right, uh, you have to spend time in building a, a profile right from ninth grade. Right, uh, your your clock starts ticking when you enter your child enters high school, and you have to create a profile, uh, start creating a profile from ninth grade because that's what counts ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Right, and uh, you you cannot waste much time there. Academics matter, extracurricular activities matter, volunteering matters, test score matters. I'm going to show you all of that, and that doesn't happen overnight. You you need to start building that uh, uh, over time and right from the ninth grade, okay? And um, I did my research. Uh, I mean, that was it. Uh, I went, uh, went. Uh, I'm being a counselor. I found a lot of very good counseling resource, mentorship, and everything who guided me in the whole process of uh, building the uh, BSMD uh, program, okay? So fast forward today, uh, this has been um, the result. Uh, my students have gotten into Harvard pre-med, uh, St. Louis uh, eight-year BSMD program with 125K scholarship, that was last year, uh, Texas NMED program, uh, Augusta BSMD program, St. Bonventure uh, BSMD program with uh, the George Washington uh, Medical School, Hofstra pre-med. Hofstra is an amazing, amazing school um, for uh, medical and everything, and um, Siraj got in. Uh, Vanderbilt, uh, Saket did uh, early decision. UC Merced is JV Prime Plus, that's a new BSMD program. New BSMD programs are popping in. Some of them are, are, are losing their programs as well. Um, new York, uh, NYU Pre-Med, University of South Alabama, so I got full tuition for Pre-Med. Okay, I just love the school. And Stony Brook BSMD uh, program, my student got the WISE uh, scholarship. WISE is Women in Science and Engineering scholarship she got in uh, with the Stony Brook. Stony Brook is a very good uh, BSMD program. Got it? Um, so... <laughs> This this knowledge just changed my life and my students' life, right? So basically, uh, knowing the success formula and the exact, um, like knowing what the BSMD uh, course wanted and working it backwards uh, to break it down into manageable chunks so that it can be handled in the lower grades is what yielded the success uh, in my students. Got it? So that's what my program is all about. It's laser precision to build that profile for BSMD. And while, while uh, your child is building the profile for, for BSMD, the pre-med profile becomes very good as well. And I'll go ahead and explain it. Okay, so let's get started. So who wants the success formula? Let's get started. Okay, who wants to know the success formula to get into the BSMD program? Who? I need some love here. 
yes, I need some energy. Uh, if you're multitasking, please come back. Uh, please pay attention uh, here. Uh, no uh, multitasking or having many windows open. Okay, so let me get started about the uh, different uh, medical programs first, and then you'll get a perspective. So what are the different paths? The first one is the traditional path, and there's nothing wrong with the traditional path. Um, it, is, it is what you do is you do the, your four years uh, pre-med, um, and there's nothing called as pre-med. You can, you can do any major, but then you have to meet certain requirements for uh, before applying for the MD schools. Uh, you need to have shadowing, you need to have research, you need to have volunteering, and you need to have good medical counseling in your college that you go to for undergrad. Got it? And a lot of students take a gap year to prepare for their MCAT before they apply to the med school. Got it? The higher MCAT scores, you get into exceptionally good MD colleges. The lower ones are, I mean, you'll go to average MD schools. Okay, so that's the traditional path. I like something that is in between the traditional and the and the accelerated BSMD program, which is the early assurance program. It is like the students can go into the undergrad and touch and, and test the waters. OK, they can test the waters. Uh, and then at the end of the second year, they can decide whether they want to apply for the BSMD program. Got it. So that I mean. Right out of high school, no child knows whether they want to be um, a, a doctor or a physician or get into that. It's a very, very long commitment and it's extremely rigorous. So I like the go between the early assurance programs that that um, students can get in, uh, try, see if they really like uh, to pursue and then apply for the BSMD. So most of the programs that my students apply to they fall in this category as well. So even if they don't get into the BSMD program right off the bat, they have a chance of applying again in, in the sophomore year. One of the best example is Case Western. Case Western has a wonderful pre-professional uh, medical program where after uh, basically what they do is uh, after the end of the sophomore year, uh, they, they do that, okay? And then you have the accelerated um, medical program or the combined BSMD program. So it's like uh, the undergrad and the grad is mushed together. So you get acceptance into either a seven year uh, program or an eight year program. I'll go over that. And also, even if you get into um, whatever it is, even if it's a seven year program, they will never cut short on the MD school, which is four years. All you can do is accelerate your undergrad. Got it. And if you have enough APs, um, APs that uh, you accumulate in your high school, that can easily be transferred uh, to your uh, BSMD program. So my son studied in the Downingtown School District. Uh, he graduated with 20 APs. Uh, he, he just graduated from Georgia Tech uh, in two and a half years. Um, so his friend, uh, um, Christina, uh, she got into the Penn State uh, BSMD program and she graduated with 19 APs. And I just heard that she graduated as well, accelerated as well, and, and, and she finished her undergrad in three years. She went to, she's in Penn State. Penn State uh, BSMD program. So even though it was it is an eight year program, she had uh, she uh, had enough APs that she could shave off one year. Got it. So that's why it's so important uh, to have. Uh, um, like good good courses in that so that you can transfer those credits to college and save money, right? And, and in order for that, you need to have good study skills and good executive functioning skills to excel because it, it, it helps you both with getting into the BSMD program and saving a lot of money. Got it. So that's that's what it is. And I'm just going to go over the advantages of the early assurance program. I'm just comparing them uh, with the BSMD. So um, so the thing is, they get two years to decide whether they want to apply for the BSMD program. Got it? They go into that college and then they can apply again in their sophomore year. And of course, there are requirements like grade requirements, uh, GPA requirements, research and everything. If they meet that, then they have an opportunity to apply for the BSMD program after two years. Okay. And OK, so the other option that I want to explain to you is the DO. DO is uh, the doctor of osteopathic medicine. They're also licensed physicians. And guess what? You have to ask your physician whether it's a BSMD. I'm sorry, whether he's an MD or a DO. I happen to ask my physician, Dr. Kalman. He is a DO. Uh, but they come back. They, they, they sort of do their... Uh, 
uh, DO and they come into main, mainstream being pediatricians, physicians, or anything. That's a very, very up and coming uh, field that is there. They go into sports medicine and everything. Okay. So DO is also a very popular choice. My students apply to DO as well. NOAA Southeastern is one of the really good DO uh, colleges in, in Florida that my students apply to. Okay, so the advantages are um, BS DO. They say it's 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 a shade uh, less competitive than the BSMD programs, but um, yeah, so you, you they are a little bit less competitive than the BSMD program and easier to get into. But still, it is it is a combined uh, program and uh, uh, pretty hard. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly compare uh, the two uh, fields. Okay, so the MD is allopathy or the modern medicine. Uh, osteopathy is called the osteopathic uh, manual medicine or the osteopathic ma uh, manipulative treatment, where they focus on the spine and everything. But but it is it is both of them are. I mean, DO is an exceptionally good program, and uh, anyone there should should consider that. Okay, so any questions about uh, the BSMD, uh, BSDO uh, before I move on to the BSMD? I'll go in depth into that. Any questions about the DO program, please chat away. I'll, I'll answer them. Okay, so the BSMD program, basically, like I mentioned, it's it's BS plus MD. So there's no separate admission process. You, you get admitted either to a seven-year, eight-year program, but every college will have its own requirement about whether, whether they need MCAT or not. Got it? So that is the only difference. And please do not think that, um, hey, my child has to go to a college that doesn't have MCAT. Got it. So a, a college that does not have MCAT requirement means they're going to rely heavily on the test scores, the student GPA, student scores rigor and everything. And it will be even harder to get into that college. Got it. So the way I build my college list is um, any college that has a BSMD program is exceptional because it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very, very good program. So you don't need to like pick and choose. There are a handful of colleges and we apply it to them, okay? So this is uh, what the BSMD program is and how hard is it to get into the program? It's not one to 10%, it's actually one to 3% acceptance rate, much lower than Stanford, got it? It's because um, they, uh, they, uh, they have to really spend a lot of money in creating this program and get their resources and everything, got it? And, and also they're trying uh, to, to teach undergrad students to be a doctor and everything. And, and it's a special program where they get in all kinds of experts. So that is why they are trying to pick students. They, they, their, <laughs> their selection criteria is extremely, extremely laser focused and, and very hard to get in because uh, they want to make sure that students can handle the rigor. Okay, it's, it's, it's a very rigorous eight-year program or a seven-year program, much harder than the traditional program. And that's the reason their selection criteria is, is, is so, so, so hard, okay? Okay, so like I mentioned, there are either seven or eight-year program. My student uh, went to Augusta, which was seven. Um, Christina went to eight. Um, Anjali, uh, who went to Stony Brook, uh, is an eight-year-old, eight-year program. Uh, SLU is also eight years, but uh, Sai has a lot of um, APs that uh, can be transferred over for which he'll get uh, credit. Okay, so the question is, which medical program are you leaning towards? Do you want to chat away? Which program are you leaning towards? Are you leaning towards uh, the traditional program, the early assurance, or the accelerated BSMD or BSDO program? Let's hear. Anyone? Got it. BSMD? Good. Assured? Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, early assurance is good. I like early assurance as well. Okay, good. So let's get going. Um, yes. So, okay. So now for the key ingredients of a BSMD applicant or a candidate. Okay. So these are the six criteria that 
super duper important. Number one is uh, academic academics. I mean, you need to have extremely good GPA, near perfect GPA. It's unbelievable, 3.9, 3.4, got it? And test scores, it's not test optional when it comes to BSMD. They will take in scores. I mean, uh, if you go to apply in the Common App, uh, Rain Cellar Polytechnic or any other program, they clearly, uh, very clearly say that, hey, it's not test optional. We will consider your SAT scores or ACT scores if you're applying for uh, the BSMD program. And research. Research is something that they look very, very closely um, for, for the BSMD. And they look for community service or volunteering that is aligned with the healthcare or the medical field, okay? It's not just any, any volunteering. They, they want it to be like super specific um, tied to the healthcare uh, industry, okay? And then clinical exposure or shadowing. This is very, very important. And that's the reason I, I built my whole uh, counseling program because uh, there's a lot of confusion. I mean, you, I mean, students need to start shadowing as early as possible. And why is it that they are looking uh, looking for, uh, for that experience in, in a student? I mean, they are kids, right? But they, if you're applying to the program, they want to see if a student really went and experienced how it is to, to work in a doctor's office or in a hospital or with a dentist or a therapist or a chiropractor. They want students to like um, to experience that in real time. And that's why you need that uh, in, in your uh, profile. Okay, please don't think that getting an EMT, e e EMT certificate certification is more important than, um, than a, a, a doctor's uh, shadowing. Okay, given a choice, the doctor's shadowing is what is super, super, super important. And I coach my students to go ask their pediatrician, right? So I asked my son's pediatrician, hey, will you be taking any students for shadowing? And he was very clear. He said, oh, they got to be my patient. Then I let them shadow me, right? So that's the way it is. I, I tell students to go ask their pediatrician if they can um, then shadow. Even, even, even a dental office is okay. Uh, a therapist, I've, I've had students um, shadowing uh, therapists virtually as well. Uh, they've done that. To, to get an experience of uh, what it is. So it's very, very, very important. And a lot of schools offer um, programs like Allied Medical, medical Program uh, in Downingtown, where I live. Uh, in the 12th grade, in the senior year, uh, half the day students go to uh, the Paoli Hospital, which is near our, uh, and they do, sh and they, and they shadow there for half a day. Got it? So please check your school if they have a, a program like that. Many schools have that. Okay, so please make use of that. Then extracurricular activities. You need to have a wow factor in your extracurricular activities. It cannot be like blending in or uh, you cannot be a serial joiner. I know parents who's like, oh, go join this, go join that, do this, do that, do this, do that. No, you got to be a specialist. There are two kinds of uh, people uh, in, in extracurriculars. One is a generalist, dabbles, a dabbler who just joins everything who's not a specialist uh, in the extracurricular activities. And then there is the specialist who takes on two or three activities and does them very, 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 very deeply. And that is what I teach them. I, I teach I, I give those opportunities because it's not easy to come out with them. So I have being a counselor, um, I have those opportunities that I make my students apply to the extracurricular, the volunteering, everything is is like sort of uh, built into the program. Got it. Um, so that is it's 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 a key. I've seen my students getting in and I have their profile. I have a size profile right here. Uh, Sai was my BSMD applicant, and as you can see, um, his extracurricular activities were amazing. Got it? He um, he shadowed opt optometrist. Uh, he shadowed physicians. Uh, he he was part of HOSA. He was into coding as well. So please don't think that your child only needs to focus on uh, biology or chemistry. No, they're looking for sciences. Got it? And uh, his academics were superb. He had um, he he went through uh, my research program and wrote a, a scientific uh, research paper on an anti anti uh, cancer drug. So I pretty much know the profile that they're looking for because I, I scrutinized it and we built the profile um, in that. Um, I, I mean, everything. And, and the result was he got into BSMD, uh, St. Louis University with 125K scholarship. And that's another thing that I do uh, is to build a profile so that you don't break your bank. Got it. 
Um, so he got 125K scholarship uh, to St. Louis University and uh, University of South Alabama. He got full tuition. He got into University of Southern uh, California, UC Davis. He just got in everywhere, Drexel, Baylor, everywhere he got in. Okay. So that's how um, I've, I've worked backwards, like looking at the students to start building them way earlier. Because when you, when you come to your uh, 10th, I mean, 11th grade or 12th grade, when you have to apply, it's already too late. You've got to start uh, right from the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to dig deeper into uh, each one of those components. So academics, your GPA grades are super important. Class rank, if it's offered, if you if you look at schools like Hofstra, they'll tell you clearly, you have to be in the top 3% of 5% in your class. Got it? In order to apply to them, that's, that's how uh, competitive they are. Okay, and then you have the AP and the IB courses. It doesn't matter if you're in the IB courses. In fact, a lot of colleges love IB because of its rigor. Okay, uh, these are the scores that are needed by uh, the BSMD or the top colleges. I would say 1550 is the SAT score. 35 is the ACT score. This is only for BSMD program that I'm talking to you about. And then you have the national merit uh, sc scores as well, okay? Now, coming to the extracurricular activities, you need to have the wow factor, which I help them, volunteering. Volunteering in a healthcare, um, healthcare field is very important. Shadowing is very, very important, like I mentioned, and research. These are the three components that give you a wow factor, okay? Um, and, and you need to start building them right from your ninth grade because they're looking for consistency and commitment, got it? If, if, you, if you put that, hey, I did this activity three years, Consistently, it shows, right? It's not like you're an overnight thing. You you went there to just get those hours. You were consistent with that. And if you're consistent with an activity, then you grow up the ladder as well to get leadership opportunities. So that's, that's why it's important to start early. And in ninth grade, we don't expect them to get all kinds of research. I'm sorry, all kinds of leadership opportunity, but they need to test their waters, get settled in, have good habits to sort of uh, do the prerequisites so that they can, they can be ready ready for the AP courses that that is like so demanding okay then for volunteering can volunteer in a research clinic nursing homes hospice care hospitals um, anywhere you can you can volunteer okay then um, shadowing super 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 important you can start from ninth grade um, if, if, if you can pediatricians physicians dentists chiropractor anybody then research is another very, very important component where they want to see if you are a subject matter expert. That is what tells the, B, uh, the BSMD admissions officer that this child is, is an exceptional candidate because uh, of the time that the students spent in doing research or becoming a subject matter expert. Okay, so there are different kinds of uh, research that you can do. You can publish a research paper is what I offer. Um, uh, then there is working in a lab and clinic and researching in hospitals and universities. But this has become a bit difficult these days after the pandemic uh, because uh, they don't allow uh, children, I'm sorry, not children, high school students to shadow that much. I mean, sorry, come to the lab because of uh, the, the, the COVID, uh, post COVID, it's extremely difficult. I've asked so many of my doctor friends who are in hospitals. I'm like, can you please take my student there? Like, I'm sorry, Jyotsna, uh, that's not possible at the moment. We have some strict uh, requirements. So that's that's becoming a bit difficult as well. Okay. And then there's another important component is leadership. They look for leadership. So you, you don't automatically become a leader of uh, an extracurricular activity, right? You've got to go and contribute, 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 and grow up the ladder. For example, my older son and my younger son, they go to a place called Team Children. They've been going there for three years. So my older son became like a team leader or something. So they used to go every, I mean, he used to go every Saturday, right? I mean, that doesn't happen overnight. So you need to look for those leadership opportunities, build them, and, and I help with that, um, to build that. I teach them uh, to figure out what kind of a leader they are and how to go about it, okay? So any questions about the ingredients, please type away. Um, yes, uh, please type away, I'll address them. I'm just going to go over the next uh, component, which is the BSMD application process. Okay. Um, so yeah, the BSMD application process is three steps. Okay. Um, this is what I do when you when you when your child is in the senior year, but you need to know that because it trickles down to your ninth and your tenth grade. 
Number one is you need to get accepted into the college as an undergrad. So, so what we do is we have something, a tool called Common App where we apply. Uh, students need to get in there. They need to get accepted. Okay, and then the college will uh, invite them to apply for the BSMD program. Got it? So that application is 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 a terror it's it's much 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 harder okay and since my students have gone uh, through that i've already collected the uh, essay prompts and everything and i'm ready for it but it stumps me every time university of alabama their application process is like ugh, so hard stay in lewis university as well like the amount of questions they ask you um the 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 kind of supplements that they ask you so you need to get accepted into the medical college, got a medical program. So uh, a lot of requirements again for that. And when you get selected, then you're invited to uh, an interview, which is called a mini medical interview, right? And it can either be a panel of, um, of people or one admission officer who, who typically will meet you around the January timeframe. And then they will announce the results in, in, in February, March. So this is the three-step process in the uh, application process. Okay, why am I coming back to it? Okay, so any questions about the application process? Okay, okay. So have you gained clarity about the BSMD or BSDO program? Uh, I wanna hear an answer from you. Have you gained clarity? Are you a bit more clearer than uh, what, uh, when you were before you came here? Uh, yes or no, thumbs up, thumbs down. Good, 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 good. Okay, so yes, um, so this, so the next question arises, how do you beat the competition, right? You know the requirement, um, you know uh, what it takes, but how do you build it? Is it enough if you have all the knowledge in your head, like who is that person who's gonna make your child do it, right? You can, you can be a PhD in BSMD, but can you make your child do it? I can't make my child do it, although I'm a counselor, I cannot counsel my son, a younger son, and um, a surgeon cannot operate on their own child, right? So that's there. I had, I mean, I have other counselors in my team who work with my son. Got it? So I'm not sure why you showed up today uh, because you were frustrated or confused or you wanted to learn about the BSMD program. You were plain overwhelmed. You've heard about the buzz, the excitement. You must have heard from your neighbors, friends, uh, everybody telling, oh, I got into the BSMD program or something and, and, and you wanted to learn <laughs> or, or you were bored and you wanted to hang out with me. I hope that's true. I'm just kidding. Whatever it is, I just want to let you know that I've cracked the code for the BSMD program through um, through my unique counseling services. And it's literally changed my world and my students' world. And how has it changed my students' world? By, by giving the outcome and the results, which is getting into those highly selective programs. Got it? And of course, it's, it's a process that has been streamlined that can be replicated for your child through our programs, got it? So we have a very systematic approach where day by a week by week, we teach them one concept, we give them homework to go build it. And it's not like go find it, we give them the opportunities, be it extracurricular activities, volunteering, everything, how to build that whole profile right from the resume to the cover letter to building the plan for all four years, we teach them. Got it? And that is not an overnight process, right? <clears throat> it takes time and your child has to build it. It's not enough if uh, you sort of try to build it, right? So, so that is the whole crux. Uh, that is the whole secret sauce is the children come over. They enjoy doing it. They come to my class and they go back and they go, Joe, I found this. You know what, Joe, I want to do this. You think this will work? They will like dis send me a message on Discord or chat. Joe, I found this opportunity. Should I go there? That's the kind of uh, energy that comes into my uh, my students. Okay, and I had a student who uh, suffered from alopecia, which is like hair loss, and uh, he did research on hair loss. and And then he said, Joe, I want to do something, and I helped him. Um, I told him you need to take up as an activism. You need to go find local alopecia. Um, um, like uh, like organizations and become a student advocate. And that became his passion project, right? So that's how the students are. They, they, they all, children want to excel. They just need the right guidance and the direction. They're not motivated because it's too complicated for them, right? When you bro break it down into part, they get invigorated, right? So that's what we do.
right? So the obvious question is, do you want to leverage the gifted gabbers uh, solution that we have? Um, I'm, I'm a crazy perfectionist, and I've implemented this program where everything is super streamlined, this outcome, this result at the end of every session, got it? Or you can go through slow <laughs> with trial and error, try to get the information from Google, which is mostly wrong, or you could do it quickly and efficiently with my framework. Got it. It's, it's a proven framework where your child does the heavy lifting. You don't have to do anything, right? And success comes when your child owns their journey and they want to do it, right? We just don't want to be dragging them everywhere. They are the ones who need to build that uh, program. Like, for example, my younger son, he went to the social innovators um, innovators uh, program. He he started his own venture where he wanted to uh, help, stu help uh, teens overcome procrastination and, and all that. It was his own idea. I just gave him the opportunity to go into that program and and that was like an amazing experience for him right so that's what it is so you want to hear the step-by-step -step process to uh, crack the bsmd who wants to uh hear about the step-by-step -step process i want to feel some love before i can proceed uh if you're multitasking come back come back come back come back come back come back uh we we need a lot of energy to do that okay so let's go um yeah so our unique solutions i'm just going to go over our unique solutions we have bsmd uh counseling for seniors we've separated them for grade 12 because that involves college list writing essays and everything that's a separate program uh then we have bsmd counseling for high schoolers 9th 10th and 11th Got it. They are very, 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 very critical time uh, for building a profile. OK, and then what we did is uh, we, we introduced passion project and study skills. Last time around, I had combined both of this and I had one class for passion project and students came and said, Joe, no, this is not enough. We want it to be like a separate program. Uh, it was a hit. Uh, the, the exercises that I, I told the students to do I almost cried when I saw the outcome. Okay, one of uh, the 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 a task in creating a, a passion project is fast forward uh, five years after you've graduated, where do you envision yourself? So one of my students wrote a beautiful essay saying, oh, I'm in Manhattan in this apartment. I'm a very busy physician. It was amazing. So that sort of, uh, because of the future planning, she really had all that energy to come and work on uh, building a good profile, right? So uh, so we created a separate program and this passion project starts after uh, the counseling finishes um, where you can either sign up or just sign up for that. Here we create a passion project. Uh, like. I have spoken to many admissions officers and they always tell me that they like to see a passion project, a project that aligns with the student interest, got it? So a research is also a passion project. It can be anything like, for example, Rizan wanted to do something about alopecia, that is his passion project. So we were working on that. Then I had another student who wanted to start a nonprofit to do something. I had another student who struggled with ASD. He was in the autistic spectrum and he wanted to help other students, right? So you need to create a proper plan. And I we felt that one or two classes was not enough. So we have a six week session where we help them brainstorm a topic and everything. I'm just gonna, it's there in the description. And then study skills. Like I said, I have uh, spoken to a lot of uh, teachers when, when students grade fails, false, right? I'm also a student advocate and I speak to the teachers and they've given me a lot of valuable feedback as to what is expected from uh, a child. And the biggest problem that uh, this has been my passion project because I started off being a study skills coach uh, where I taught students different uh, different skills, right? So we, oh, I, I, like absolutely children need to learn how to do time estimation and task management got it so that is where they don't know how to do that and we pretty much teach them that got it we teach them note taking there's cornell way of note taking i tell my students do if 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 it's one day before um before the test you should be looking at your notes right um yeah so please uh, don't scratch on this and then we teach them study skills to uh, study strategies to study for exams and tests writing essays we are not like uh essay writers or something there is there is a way of managing projects and homeworks and then there is a mid-year dip that happens um and and we teach our students to create their uh, personalized learning plan and this has been my absolute passion that i've introduced uh this this uh year okay um yeah 
Okay, and uh, these are the programs. Now, uh, we also have the upcoming uh, biomed research. Uh, we are looking at experts. Um, who is writing on the screen? Please don't write. It's no. Okay, so basically, um, we, we are getting experts in uh, different fields, like oncology, uh, neurology, geriatrics, uh, cardiology, pulmonology, and osteology. So it's going to be a buffet-like thing where a student gets to pick who they want to work with, and that is in the works, okay? Uh, that we will be announcing it very, very shortly, and... Um, yeah, uh, the BSMD counseling for seniors, again, um, it's a three-step process that we help help with them. I've actually closed it because it's hardly any time left for uh, submission. Um, yeah, so basically we apply to five BSMD or BSDO programs out of the 15 colleges that they apply to, okay? And for the high school students, uh, this is what we have. Uh, our first objective is to create an academic profile. That's very, very important. And I help them with course selection. Got it? So course selection for all four years. We just don't do the the, the, the grade that they're in. We do it for all four years. In fact, we start working backwards. We, we start from grade 12. What APs do you want to take? Then what are the prerequisites that are needed? And we plan it out. We go, or oh, the student does this, and I teach them. I have a formula for this, which I teach them to map out all their courses. Okay, And I teach them the golden rectangle, uh, which is part of my uh, counseling, the four uh, important courses. Then creating a wow factor in extra curricular activities, I give them an opportunity to find those opportunities. Like, for example, uh, all the details are here, but I'm going to go into like the first uh, session is an overview of the medical program and the competitive landscape. They learn about the different programs that are available. They get clarity about it. And the homework is writing an essay because their BSMD essay is why do you want to be a doctor, physician, and everything? And the second session is about how to build a, a competitive course profile. So that's that's what they will learn how to do that for all four years. And this third session is planning for SAT, ACT, and I give them that strategies. I have a secret formula, uh, which they get to know. Uh, they love it. They create a smart goal. Uh, for for the SAT, ACT exams, uh, then none of the students really spend time creating a resume. So we do that because we need to create a resume and cover letter so that they can apply for volunteering and extracurricular activities. So that's what we do, build a, a resume. Then the, the fifth session is creating the wow factors where we give them opportunities, right? I have a complete list. Wherever you are situated, we will have them to create a wow factor. Then session six is about finding volunteering opportunities that are near your house. So I have a, a whole lesson plan for that, tools for that, how to find it. We map it out. We I tell them how to um, how to uh, like track the hours and and build their profile. And the seventh session is superb. It's about leadership and how to build honors and awards. That's very, very important. They, they are looking for awards that you won and everything for BSMD. I, I show them how to build that and what opportunities they can get. And I have a very, very unique, uh, yes, I'm just going to go over that. Uh, I uh, Yes. So basically, it's going to be on Saturdays at five o'clock EST. Um, seven live sessions, they are going to meet on Wednesdays as well, because I've seen that if you meet them once a week, they slip up. But if you catch them in the middle of the week, that is when we discuss our project. Uh, project is a very, very interesting one where they are the admission officers. This is a lesson that I'm bringing from UC Berkeley. When I was a college counselor learning from them, I pretty much died because they would kill us with uh, college reports and everything. And our final project was we were at admissions officers of a fictitious college and we were given uh, applications and we had to go over them and 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 select candidates so that is exactly what these kids are going to do and that will help them build their profile there is you don't need to tell them they are just going to be walking talking oh my god i've got to do this right so they we will give them applications they are real applications bsmd applications and we'll give them a rubric that will be discussed on on wednesdays because on Saturdays is my core 
DSMD uh, building profile. But then we want students to understand how the process works, like in real time. You will not find this anywhere else. I built this program. Uh, I, I tried it on some few test students and they loved it. Got it. So they have to also come and give a presentation as to why they picked the candidate or why they declined the candidate. You get it right. So they will learn how to go over the extracurricular activities, see the essay, look at the transcript holistically like a BSMB uh, admission officer. They're going to do that. So that is a final project um, which will be there. And um, yeah. And, and also they have to uh, go over their personalized plan, right? Uh, you can go over my uh, site and see um, all the students who have uh, uh, given the presentations. Okay. So if you see here, um, uh, it's there on the site as well. If you see here, uh, these are my BSMD students. Uh, you will see uh, Ananya's, uh, Divya Prems, all the students, most of the students, Rizan and everybody presenting their BSMD plan. Got it? So that is something that um, I help develop is presentation skills. So all the dates and everything are available. Um, okay. And also I have bonuses. Whoa! Uh, this one-on-one -on -one class uh, with, the, with the student. And also I have free courses, how to conduct research, how to pick APs, AP courses, how to study for AP courses. You're going to get this free, uh, free course uh, that I teach and how counselors pay, uh, play a pivotal role in college applications. Students, you will have that mini course as well. So you will have this three mini course and a free session with uh, the, the expert counselor to go over the plan, okay? So that's what we have. These are the bonuses uh, that are there. Uh, any questions so far about the program or anything, please uh, type away, um, okay? And then, yeah. So how to register, you can either go to giftedgabber.com or you can go to this um, site which has uh, all the programs. Uh, it has the four programs uh, right here. I'm just going to move this. Um, yeah, so if you go here, uh, right. So if you go here, you will see all the programs, uh, whichever it is. And then uh, somebody was asking me about the price. It's, it's right here. Uh, the BSMD is two payments of 400. Okay, so you will see it here. You will be able to buy this. You'll be able to put a coupon here and complete your purchase. So once you complete your purchase, you will be able to, you will get all the access. Um, we have learning management portal and, uh, and all the uh, recordings are all uploaded. Uh, uploaded there. There's a WhatsApp group. There's a Discord group. Uh, everything is there uh, for them to keep track of it. Okay, so I have different options here. You can combine the BSMD and the passion project. You can combine the BSMD and the study skills. Or if you want all three, you will uh, have a saving of $350, got it? So all the dates are all there. Uh, they are always on a Saturday or a Sunday. The BSMD program it starts from September 16th to October 28th, Saturday at 5 p.m. EST, 4 p.m. CST, 2 p.m. PST. And uh, there will be a final project. Our passion project and study skills, they start from November 5th to December 17th. Okay, so that's the way it is. Um, okay, so yeah, all, all of them are available right there. And uh, yeah. I just want to tell you my success story along with acceptances. I work to get the best scholarships for my students. My students have won over 5 million total in scholarships and they get into 90% of the colleges that they apply to. Okay. And I want to read out um, an acceptance letter from Duke. It says, I enjoyed reviewing your application and the admissions committee was impressed by your innovative um, pro projects and uh, research progress, right? So that is how important research and passion projects are. And that's the reason I started the whole uh, passion project uh, program that is there. Okay. Okay. So have you gained clarity today? So what is your answer? Have you gained clarity today? Yes or no? I want to hear that. Did you gain clarity? Did you learn? Okay, great. Fantastic. Fantastic. So yes, um, I have a special offer for you. If you enroll tonight, 
if you enroll by tonight for the BSMD program, you will get my ultimate scholarship courses for free. Okay, this is for the BSMD uh, scholarship. I can show you what is in it. Um, I, I can quickly show you. So you will get access to all the schools that offer scholarships, how to create, uh, um, how to create uh, a profile that, that is good for scholarship as well. So right here, you will get this access to this. Okay, I'm just gonna show you this. Okay, so basically you will understand the key ingredients, the college list for the BSMD, BSDO. Uh, okay, the cost of college, who offers merit aid? You'll have all the whole thing, uh, private scholarship opportunities, full ride scholarship opportunities, scholarships based on ACT, SAT score, top scholarship for uh, pre-med program, um, like all the how to write scholarship essays, everything you will get if you register tonight. Got it. So that is the cash. If you register tonight, you will get uh, my course, which is worth $2.99. Okay. Okay. And uh, other bonuses, if uh, you enroll in one program, you get $50 off. Two programs, $150. Three programs, you, you get $350 off. Okay. So I will be sharing. Um, yeah. So yeah, that is, I, I will be sharing this with you. So any questions? Let's get to the questions. Yeah. Uh, Mavi, you want to uh, answer the questions? Yeah, Disha, you had a question. Let me unmute people. Yeah. Yeah, Mavi, you want to read the questions? Okay, I thought you will um, let Miss Disha talk already. But yeah, um, there is a question here, like how can you help my kid with is already in 11th grade? Absolutely, they're in the junior year. It's even more important to go over uh, the whole, um, yes, the, the whole plan, right? Uh, so again, uh, week by week, uh, we go over everything to build that, right? Uh, so it's right here, uh, session by session, we are building it, then there's homework, right? In the first session, um, what is the medical uh, perspective, how to become a competitive candidate, um, right? So they will know everything about it. They will be working. I will be teaching them and there'll be homework, okay? And uh, how to prepare for SAT, ACT, preparing the resume, everything is part of my program. Yeah, great question. Okay, and you're able to yeah, discuss earlier. Is, uh... Hold on a minute. Uh, we, we have some questions that were there. We will answer them and get to you, okay? Yeah, go ahead, uh, Maui. One minute, sir, yeah. Okay, so you also discussed earlier regarding the schedule for Saturday. So they're also asking how about the time for Wednesdays? Wednesday, it's 9 p.m. EST. Um, yeah, Wednesday is 9 p.m. EST uh, so that they can finish their homework and come. It is, we check their progress and then we discuss about the project. So yes, in the middle, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's Wednesday at 9 p.m. Great. Okay, and what APs is better if taken in high school? whatever is offered that is part of the counseling program it's called my golden rectangle um, core sciences are very very important for bsmd um, bio chem ap psychology ap calculus uh, the history ap's are important english are important as well yes great question okay so coach should go over the requirements for bsmd for tonight presentation for the BSMD counseling, will she do the same thing or more to get student attention and commit to the roadmap per student? Uh, yes, that is what we are creating, a roadmap for the BSMD program, precisely. Yes, we will be creating the blueprint and roadmap. Every week we will be building uh, on top of each other, yes. Okay, and there seems to be a limit of 18 years of kids to be able to shadow. Is that true for the docs? Uh, not true. I, I know a lot of students who've been shadowing their doctors. Yes, um, you just have to be over 14. It depends on the doctor and, and the kind of uh, leverage they're allowed to do. So yeah, I've, I've, I know students who start shadowing in the ninth and 10th grade. Yeah. And will there be a one-on-one -on -one session with you coach job uh, when it comes to the student? Uh, yes, there is a one-on-one -on -one with our experts and me, yes. Okay, and do you offer ACT, SAT preparation in your program? Uh, no, it's I'm not an ACT, SAT tutor, but my students get access to the best tutor that I have, uh, who my son goes to. Uh, you will get his contact. Okay, thank you so much, Coach. And to register for the free scholarship advice, do we need to register by paying for the overall counseling? 
Yes, sir. It is part of the program. Otherwise, you pay two ninety nine for the program. Yes. Okay, so that is the last question on my end, okay. Coach Jock. Okay, so someone had a question. You can unmute yourself and ask. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, I'm actually uh, Dia, uh, my daughter, and uh, my name is Vijay, and uh, I'm her father. Uh, first of all, Joe, I think this was an amazing presentation and really a hats off to you uh, for actually um, choosing such a, a wonderful career out of it, right, which is very much in need. And my question is, uh, we are on a H-1B and we don't have a green card. Awesome. And uh, uh, does it matter for the yeah. fees and other things are out, uh, awesome. outside? Uh, uh, state scholarships and other things um yeah so uh, i had a similar thing gaurav my very stellar student was on h1 um, um sid was on h1 there are schools that uh, that offer you you will be in state this is merit scholarship so you are already here your child is already on a dependent visa they're not an international student right so it is it's completely merit based so yes my students have gotten into nova southeastern all kinds of uh, scholarships gaurav my exceptionally good student who who was on H4 also got a lot of opportunities. So there's no problem with that. So there is no differentiation between uh, the green card or the citizen, so-called citizen, uh, vis-a-vis the uh, H4, right? I build a college list. If your child is in the 12th grade and it's college list, then I build a college list that is very friendly to visas. But there are certain uh, scholarships like OSU, Ohio State University, has moral scholarship. Moral scholarship is only for uh, citizens, right? So there are certain things that are exclusively for citizens, but there are certain things that are uh, uh, available for everybody. I have that list. Yeah. Uh, and also, this was our first time and whatever that you showed, we kind of understood, but we still have a, a lot of questions to be asked. I don't want to take a lot of time of yours. Probably uh, we will register or I'll send you a message and uh, based on that, uh, we'll take it forward. And sure, I really sure. appreciate uh, your time. Yeah. So, so I want to, you. sure, I want to tell you that this is my daytime job. This is all I do. And I have the resources, right? I pay thousands of dollars to be on the counselor network. I have the information. The information that uh, I have, it's not available on the Google. So you're an extremely good parent that you've done research, but there's only so much you can do, right? Um, the rest, uh, it's, it's like you have to come to somebody who is well-versed with the process. It's very complicated. So please don't beat yourself if you don't know all the 10 things. You've made an attempt to learn those three things. So that's that's a win in my books okay yeah thank you no problem yeah anyone has any questions you can unmute yourself this is my most popular program if i exceed uh, the number i will be closing it down my bsmd counseling is very very rare you will not find um uh, yeah you will not find a program like this uh, okay, let's go over some, and I think this was mentioned earlier, there's no longer a program. There is a program for seniors, but the thing is, um, it's a lot of work, okay? I already have a few students. If your child is a senior, uh, then let me know. We can have a separate call, a 15-minute call where I can go over it. Uh, if you register for counseling and passion, does it include research paper? No, it does not. Good question. Research has to be done under a university professor. It cannot be done by uh, any other person. So my research program, we run it in summer because it's a lot of work. Okay, uh, It affects uh, the children's academics, and we don't want to let their grades go down. So we've seen students struggling um, when we introduce the research program. So we made it as a summer program where they can focus three months on the research. Right. And that has been yielding us exceptional uh, results. So we keep constantly changing that. Right. So can we do the research like if my daughter is 11th grader? Can she still do the research in the summer? Absolutely. 11th grade. Yes. 11th to 12th grade. I had most of the, my students who were current seniors who did it in the in the in the summer and they submitted for publishing. Got it. So, so yes. when do you apply for that or when can you register for um, see, the research? Right now, I'm, I'm still uh, getting uh, university professors. I don't have the program open, but uh, 
but please be part of my mailing list. Uh, whenever it opens, we'll send an email blast, put it on Facebook, and you'll come to know about it. So it's typically mm -hmm. in summer because that's when the professors are also available. Yeah, and students. Yeah, and students. Hey, um, how long does it usually take to do the research? Like, 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 paper or how long okay. does it take to work on it okay so the research is not an overnight thing it needs to go in deeper depths it takes three months so we start our program around june we are very very flexible but uh it, in order to do research work with a professor and write a research paper it's extremely time consuming and um, yes, uh, it takes a significant amount of time. And that's why we would like to do that in summer, because we need to publish a quality paper. Otherwise, it's not going to get published. Right? Yes. So, I've seen some of the research. Um, I guess I've been following you for a while. So I've seen some of the research that was done with some of your students the summer that passed. Um, and um, is it usually done with the university professor yes. in the city that you stay or no, is no, it virtual? It's, it's virtual. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's virtual. Thank you. Uh, Hi, Kojo. I have a question. Like, my daughter is like a ninth grader uh, as of now. And we are like, as parents, we probably want her to go into BSMD, but she is not sure yet. So, okay. You think, yeah. I mean, I was wondering if you can guide her and like, is it the right time? Absolutely. See, see, it's 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 not. See, the thing is, we are exposing them to the different things that are here. It's also building a very good academic college profile. That is your basis. Got it. So whatever you 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 accumulate as part of your extracurricular activity or your volunteering, it's going to help you no matter where you go to STEM or other things. You get it right. And also, it's perfectly fine for a ninth grader to be figuring out. Right, but you have to expose them. They can come back and tell you, nah, ma'am, I'm not interested in this. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Right. Um, how, how, do we, how do we brainstorm those? Like, do you, the, the counseling that you yes. have to offer, yeah. like, would that be helping her figure it out? Like, how yes. do we do the that? First, the first class is all about and in depth about the medical field. And I make them write uh, 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 an essay. Like, the BSMD college, when you apply, there are three questions that are there. Uh, why do you want to be a physician? Why do you want to join a BSMD program? And why this college? So that is my very first exercise. Instead of writing it in the senior year, it's always good to see why they want to be a doctor, right? Nobody has asked them that. So we ask and we assess that. Got it? And if they're not interested in the BSMD, I have a regular college counseling. They can drop into that. Got it? I have two counseling sessions. Uh, one yeah. is non-BSMD and one is BSMD, right? So they can see, okay, this is not there. We'll move them over here. So that's no problem. That's what I wanted to make sure. Like if, because we don't want to push her kind of for anything. Oh, no, it's, no. It should be based on her interests, but Absolutely. she's not yet like kind of, obviously she, it's very early in the run. So she's just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even a senior doesn't know if they want to be a doctor. Okay. It's so unfair to expect a child to have figured out everything. And that's why we apply undecided to colleges. You know, a lot of times when my students are not sure about what major they want to go to, colleges welcome them as being undecided. That's the beauty of the U.S. education system is mm -hmm. you, you have colleges where you can declare your major after two years. Okay? Yeah. And we do that. So don't worry about that. You need to expose. And she says, nah, I don't like blood. I don't like cutting things. Okay, come down. Go be and go be whatever you want. My my younger son does not want to go into STEM. He wants to be a lawyer. So he went, he went to a school, got an internship in, in court, in Westchester court. He went there over summer and, and he did his internship. So that's how they are. You've got to expose it expose them right and even if they if they are not ready it's perfectly fine like i mentioned most of my high school my my seniors who are applying to colleges we go undecided okay so we we need to just go online and like book a session with you for no, the you need to enroll in this program even if it's we are not sure of bsmd yes 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 like okay. i said i have two programs right uh if you go here like it, you can join here uh, if she's not interested, then she can join the college counseling. It's on the same day at three o'clock. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Yes. yes. And this what? Okay. Uh, yeah. Great questions. Yeah. So what's so, the have, question? so I have a question. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Hello. Yes. yes. So my yes. daughter is a junior, and she's done your research program that you did last year. She did the 
um, Python thing as well. She's been a mentor and stuff. So she's done a lot of the things that you have suggested in the program. So part of the program would be redundant for her. She's been shadowing. She's doing this. Is there a program where she can be for parts of the things that she needs? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? She's got her resume done. Or does she wait till her senior year because she has a lot of Come things to me done. in her senior year. She doesn't need me now. Come back in senior year. I'll help her with college applications. Okay. But like things like, you know, even when she did the research paper, she hasn't still published it. She did uh, great. Why? Okay. Um, she she can meet, uh, yeah. Her. Yeah. You can, you can schedule just one session with me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but uh, yeah, she's been with me. I know she won the best Python award as well. Yes, yes. So she's been very reluctant about a lot of things and I need, she wouldn't listen to me. Procrastination. Oh my God, procrastination. She's a perfectionist and that's what oh. the cause is. She doesn't think it's, anything is good enough for what she's done. Okay. So oh, yeah, I think that, I will need that, a talk that with publishing you. is very, very important. You have a talk to me because she has to publish it. It's very okay. important. And they take about three to six months to publish JSR. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So I need to schedule one want, with you. Yeah, if you want the instructions, I can send again. But JSR is very, very important because I've seen Sai, who got into the BSMD program, he submitted his paper. My, I've seen uh, Anjali, who got into Stony Brook, she had published a paper. Um, okay. uh, Saint Bon Venture, I forgot her name. Um, Vaishnavi, she she had published a paper. So I'm seeing this pattern, right? Yeah, yeah. Getting into the BSMD program, uh, they they went through my research. Uh, uh, research like uh, Johns Hopkins full ride she got in Stanford okay. Shreya Singh went into Stanford got okay her? so we can do one uh, one on one with you for a couple of reasons or you know whatever yes small or purpose. or uh, yeah. she can uh, is a paper reviewed we reviewed her paper otherwise she can submit her paper no 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 she's got to submit her our research yeah okay up. I will have to have a session with uh, you uh, I'll get her to talk to you okay no I'll get uh, email you to set up a session thank you so much no problem yeah yeah, any, uh, yeah, Teja, Teja, you have a question? Yeah, so I have a question about uh, if students apply for a BSMD program, uh, would they be no more eligible for a regular under four-year undergrad? No, they are. You first support? need to get accepted into the undergrad program. So that is like the most basic thing, right? And also, yes, uh, also if uh, they cannot put up with the uh, BSMD program, they can drop back to do the regular undergrad program. It is all possible. Okay. So both the applications for undergrad as well as BSMD, they go hand in hand, hand when in. you're applying for a yes. college. Okay. So when you apply to the college, there's just one, one extra uh, check mark that you do. Oh, I want to apply to the pre-med or the med program that the college offers. That's how you tell them mm -hmm. that you want to get, get into the BSMD program. But the undergrad um, application is the same. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, I've uh, I was talking to the Northwestern admissions officer the other day, and they said they no longer offer BSMD program. So Why would you it, want to go to Northwestern? It's an eighty k college. Why? No, no. I mean, uh, just an example. So yes, uh, I have the updated the list? list. I have okay. the updated list. There are new colleges that are coming up, and there are old colleges that are going away. So I do have a okay. list. I have to be current with my students, so I know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great Thank question. You. Yeah. Which grade is your daughter or son? My daughter, she's in 11th grade. She's in uh, Texas, actually, Frisco, Texas. Oh, my so, God. Such a competitive school district, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it is. It is. Yeah. She has been doing academically very good. She's in top 10 ranks. Um, she, uh, but only thing is, you know, the extracurriculars is what we are uh, focusing yeah, on. So, and so I, I, I help them build that extracurriculars. Right. I give them those opportunities because of my counseling network. I have those opportunities uh, that my students have gone through and I and I do that. And that's exclusively for my counseling students. I don't give it out in the social media or whatever, even the volunteering and everything. Yeah, I, I have resources for that. So that's what you'll get out of this program. OK, that's great. Yeah, I'll, I'll review. Sure, sure. sure. The link now, and I have I'll done connect. research on what kind of activities will get them right. So it's 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 very it's 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 a lot of precision that I have done it and it's showed the results. Right. Mm -hmm. Last year, even though uh, like Gaurav should have gotten into BSMD, but because of um, um, his visa issues and everything, he got in everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
um, he did research twice with me. He 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 followed my plan, and all my students did very very well. Uh, Sanjit got into uh, UC UC Berkeley and other medical schools. He got institution in SLU and everything. Right. So so that's 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 how uh, our profile is built. Yeah, that's that's really great, Joe. Yeah. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. There's another question. Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering, like, do you have a con like the your your network in Colorado? Because I I have yeah. like always thought about. Yeah, <laughs> Colorado yes. has nothing in here. No, so. no, don't worry about it. I I will not reveal my tools, but I have tools. Uh, that is how I found my son's uh, volunteering. Right. I've tried everything on my children. My children are guinea pigs. Right. So yes. I have special tools to find it. No matter where you are in the States, we will dig it out and do it. If not uh, within your miles, we have sources to do that. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 we, we will find other means, right? Um, we cannot like uh, just give up and say, oh, because there is no, no, we have to find out other means of doing a passion project or, or anything to build, build your profile. Yeah. That's what matters. I mean, that's where we want a little guidance because we, as parents, whatever we do, kids, somehow they are not like ready for like listening to what we are trying to tell them. Oh, so this good. is where we need somebody else to come in the picture and like guide them. Through. Right. Yes, absolutely. My own son doesn't listen to me. Do you think <laughs> my son listens to me? I mean, uh, and, and all the other counselors outside, they're like, no, 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 we can't take your son. You're our competition. You will learn our counseling method. So nobody is willing to even uh, take him on. So I have my own people that I have to like a roundabout way, tell them, Hey, you have to ask him okay. this and make him do that. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very normal. Right. And also for them, they are like, Oh, my parent, my mom, what does she know? I'm, I'm, I mean, she's just trying to torture me because she found out from somebody. That's not the case. They come here, they see other children doing it. Right. So there is, mm -hmm. there's competition, there's camaraderie, right? Oh my God, that other child is doing, and, and they showed up. I have to step up to that. Right. So they come together. It's fun. Right. I make it fun. It's, it's I'm, I'm the biggest taskmaster that you'll ever see in the world, but I will make them do it and make it fun so that they come back every week with a lot of energy to build that. Right. Um, for me, it's not just about taking money. I have to see the transformation. I torture them until they give me like, like that perfect research paper or, or whatever it is uh, that is there. Right. And they need that. They need that. That's so what they need. Yeah, yeah. You should understand about Gen Z and these children. They, their brain power, their brain has evolved. They are hell smarter than us, but their attention span is eight seconds. What yeah. they lack is discipline and guidance. It's not like they don't want to excel. They want to excel. They're very driven. They have your genes, our genes, but the lack of direction makes them procrastinate or it seems very complicated. Right. Yeah. So when something is not very clear and complicated, they don't want to do it. Yeah. Make sure. It's makes human sense. nature. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you break it down. You come and you ask them. They're like, oh, this is what it is. I teach them something. They'll come and ask me on Discord. Joe, I found this out in my school. You think it'll work? Uh, then I spent three and a half hours in my second session. That was course selection. I taught them how to read the program of study. Every school has a program of study that has all your academic information in that. I taught them how to, that is your Bible, but nobody even knows that it exists because it looks like a big blob of information. You're so scared, but mm -hmm. that is the Bible, right? So I teach them how to go over the graduation requirement, how to map it out and everything. So it's empowering for them. Because when students come to me in the 12th grade, they're missing some graduation requirements. Gaurav called me uh, on, on the weekend and said, Joe, I cannot graduate because my counselor said, oh, I'm missing this credit. I'm like, did you go and check if you have met your graduation requirements? By, by the time they come to us, it's too late, right? So they need to learn all these things. I teach them and they are invigorated. They, they will come and tell me, right? And also... Some schools, when you don't offer a certain APs, I give you options where you can go and do them and all that. We go over that. So it's a 360 degree um, counseling. It, it cannot be like just extracurricular activities because uh, course rigor courses are very, very uh, important. Yeah. 
Okay, the question is, my daughter did a service project for a hospital in ninth grade summer. Does it count? No, 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 it counts. The clock starts ticking uh, when, um, uh, uh, when um, mm, from ninth grade. So it matters. Okay, it's not just 11th and 12th grade. Uh, uh, Joe, this is Vijay again. Sorry. Uh, I was about to enroll, enroll uh, but uh, this is a uh, uh, 15 live session. This is one on one or a group session? It's all group sessions. Okay. And what if, if uh, one of the classes is. Sorry, what if you miss one of the classes? Yeah, one or two classes. Or... Uh, that's okay because I'm just going to share. Uh, we have everything in our learning management portal. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. just going to show you this. Uh, so uh, everything is like recorded and they can replay and watch it. I'm just going to show you last uh, spring. Spring, this was the learning management portal. So all mm -hmm. the sessions, in fact, Maui is a wonderful program coordinator. She's already created the program. So you'll have everything here. Uh, the course introduction, everything will be here. Uh, the recording will be here. The homework. Um, so if you see here, uh, it's a whole uh, learning management portal that uh, they can watch. One. Mm. Yeah, and uh, this, yeah. okay. This has part two success, right? This, uh, you'll have the complete resume building, yes. uh, profile, and all this wow factor, whatever that is. Done. Yes, yes. And, uh, yeah, uh, academic, academically, she's good. I think she's in the top three percentage. She has a GPA of 5.0 or something. And uh, she did, when we visited India, she had been to some Vikram hospital with a neurosurgeon and she was uh, uh, shadowing for one of the uh, counseling sessions um, uh, with a uh, psychiatrist. Uh, but however, she could not repeat, as you said, right? It was not repeated. So that is something which has missed out. And uh, is it, no, 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 it, it is too it, late to start. It's never too late. Okay, it's never too late. You have a fighting chance for everything. So I have a whole lesson plan that I have where I give them those opportunities. Got it? I have many, many. Oh, which one is this? I'm sorry. Uh, and she is in the eleventh grade. She's that now doesn't in matter. Grade. Doesn't matter. Okay. 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 Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so everything will be here. Uh, how to become a company. There's homework uh, for every every session. So basically uh, what they will do is there will be a Google Drive and everything like okay. a resume means they, they need to submit their resume. And then on, on middle of the week, uh, there will be a session, uh, right? So basically this is the cincher. If, if you say, I, I went to UC Berkeley, there's one thing that I learned is to look at applications. And that is how I learned. Okay, and this is what I'm teaching the kids. This is my own invention. I told uh, my, my team that, hey, I'm going to build this program like this. So this is all hands-on, right? You're teaching them. You're, 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 you're showing them uh, applications and asking them to pick that. So what message are you sending that they need to build their application like that, right? So that's a very, very valuable lesson that I teach them. So this is how it is. Uh, first is the, uh, the all the programs. Second is mapping all the four years. I, I teach them everything from the counselor's point of view. Why is it? See, this generation, you need to tell them why, what, how. Without answering those three questions, they're not going to do anything for you. Right. So I tell them, I, I show them uh, 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 like, uh, for example, I show them um, a counselor a recommendation letter. And I tell them, if a counselor has to give you this recommendation, how is it going to look, right? And that is how you've got to build your profile. For example, I show them the school report and I tell them, uh, what will your counselor write about yours? Right? Hey, mommy, 10 minutes. Sorry. No, I think there oh, was I'm some sorry. Somebody, so okay, so I pretty much show them uh, what a school report is. I have a whole mm -hmm. presentation on them. This is how a counselor recommendation is written, and I'm and I we all work backwards, right? So yeah, so so that is how it is. It's never too late. It's it's yeah, uh, yeah, because you, uh, they have to do the take the PSAT and yes, 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 PSAT in October. It's very, very important. PSAT is uh, NMSQT, National Merit Scholarship Qualifying um, Test. And that gives you 
50% off in University of Southern California, Boston University, UT Dallas, you get full ride and everything. P yeah, PSAT. My son was the National Merit Scholar. He got scholarships from everywhere. Okay, PSAT is important uh, for them. To Very write. important, yeah. and you you can't repeat it. It's 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 ad, it's it's valid only in the eleventh grade. Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, you'll also guide them in this in this course, or uh, how do you see that is a separate tutoring that is there? Okay, you need to hire a tutor for for your SAT ACT which I will recommend. I have an exceptional tutor who tutors my son and it's not very expensive at all, but I'm not an SAT tutor and you need a lot of okay. lessons for that. Yeah. yeah, you can recommend that. And uh, this, then uh, we had to only register to this uh, comprehensive program yes. for aspiring students. That is the only, that is the one which we have to enroll then. Uh, which one, tell me, uh, you're going to Gifted Gabber, right? Yeah. You need to register for the BSMD counseling, not the comprehensive. Oh, sorry, it's not juniors. I should make it seniors now. I'm sorry. I, I need to change that. It was in summer, they were juniors. Now they are seniors. I'll change that. It's the first one, the BSMD. No, she's a, no, she's a junior. She is in the 11th grade. Yeah, that is for 11th grade, BSMD. Okay. So... So comprehensive program for us for BSMD students is what I love to register and enroll. Yeah, BSMD. I'll just remove that. It's so confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so I have a quite quick question. How long does it take for each section? Because um, it starts at 9 p.m. at Easter call, um, Easter time. So I just want to ask how, you know, how much time is running half for each hour session. to one hour half an hour to one hour two hours no 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 half an hour to one hour one hour maximum Wednesday okay, one hour. Class, that's good Wednesday class is capped at one hour Saturday class we sometimes go one and a half two hours oh okay thank you yeah 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 we know east coast I'm in east coast but the thing is, they will finish all their homework and everything and then come to us, right? So that's why I kept it at nine o'clock. Yes. And um, the most, you know, my boys are doing well. The, the only thing is it's hard for me to make them do anything. They are procrastination when they come to volunteer. <laughs> that's a disease. <laughs> yes. Perfection is so important. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, I look so forward to the class. Yeah, my, my younger son, uh, I put him in a social innovators program from UPenn because I'm a counselor. I get to know a lot of uh, new programs. So I put him in that program. He was like so reluctant to go, but he loved the program and he built, uh, he's building a company where he's going to teach uh, high school students how to overcome procrastination, right? So he was like guiding kids, the other kids. So he's going to start a podcast and everything. So yes, we know what uh, procrastination is. Uh, procrastination is because something is very complicated or you're not motivated enough, right? When you want come to my class, you don't have a choice other than delivering. You can ask Maui. I'm a pretty tough, uh, tough instructor. I mean, I'm both good and bad, but I am like, you have this potential, you've got to deliver it. Got it. I'll go after you for that. They'll be motivated to do that. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Raksha? Hi. Um, yeah, I was uh, asking about like, uh, like internship programs. Like my daughter was able to shadow her ophthalmologist the summer, right? Very nice. Um, yeah. And then, uh, but she's having a hard time finding you know, other internship opportunities, do you help? If you we help? find out, we do help them. Uh, if, if, I, if I get anything, my students are the first ones to know. Yes, I, I cannot assure you, but if I find anything, I will pass it your way if you're part of my program. Okay, Most and what's the best way to usually find those opportunities? Because um, you know. I'm a counselor. Like I said, it's all, it, you won't get that on Google. Yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> yeah, you'd sign up for my program, you'll get access. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. So I I keep something very exclusively for my students, right? You will be the first to know about those programs. Lots and lots of opportunities that I'm approached and given through my counselor network. You will find it. Okay. Yeah. And great. there's another question here, Coach. What is the good score for SAT for BSMD? 
1550 uh, uh, ACT 35. Yes, I prefer, uh, I have some secrets up my sleeve, which I teach my students. They just love it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions? No? Okay. That's the last question on my end, coach. Okay, so if there are no other questions, I want to thank you for coming in. You are extremely driven parents. You spent a, an hour and a half uh, listening okay. and wanting to uh, help your child. So that's wonderful. As a pranic healer, I want to say bless you, bless your child, bless your projects, bless your fi family, bless your finances. Bye now. Um, actually, I have one question. Sure. What is a passion project? A passion project. Okay, so let me explain that. So a, pa a passion project or a project is something that you spend significant amount of time working on it. Got it? So uh, that is outside of your curriculum. Uh, we help you sort of... Uh, find out what your interest is. Okay, so a passion project is your own project that aligns with whatever you're interested in. Got it? Um, we help you discover that so that you can stand out and showcase that, right? So my student um, learned Japanese, right? He applied that. That was his passion. He was so brilliant, right? That can be that it just not does not have to be academic. Got it? And you, if you are in, in California, uh, the A to Z, they, they need right brain. Uh, California needs artistic ability, visual arts and everything. So you can have any project that you want to do and we help you uh, do create that. We do a values exercise, find out what are you good at. Then we figure out what are the passion ideas. Uh, we help you plan it out, like create a, a vision statement. We have an Elon Musk exercise. I use that for my essays as well. Um, then we want to see what is it that you can do. Like, for example, Sid, my student, uh, he was very passionate about prosthetics in developing countries. Got it. His research project was that. And then he sort of thought, OK, uh, the underdeveloped countries like they cannot afford prosthetics. He was thinking if he could ship some gently uh, used uh, prosthetics. OK, so uh, he was talking to a lot of companies here. And when he reached out to somebody in India, she got all mad. She's like, what, you want to give me used stuff like used clothes, used prosthetics? He went through a lot of uh, challenges, but he was very passionate about it. Like he, he was drawn to the idea of how um, like your colleges are looking for problem solvers, right? You are a problem solver. And how is it that you're solving a problem and coming up with a solution? That is what we help you do that, right? In this, in this whole exercise, right? And you will have a project that you will come and present. Got it? So it's, it's a seven week uh, course that uh, we go over to help you identify the passion project. Because by the time you come to the senior year, you need to showcase something in your, in your profile that pops out that you've spent significant amount of time, right? Um, so that is why this is so important. And I used to take just one or two lessons and, and it was not enough. We couldn't go deeper, it was not enough. You have to dedicate that amount of time. Like for example, my son wants to start uh, a company where he can teach kids, um, how to overcome procrastination, right? So he will go and find out what are the values, what are the goals for that, how to break it down and execute it. Okay, he has to start a company. He has to do a DBA, doing business as. Okay, he has to find a name for his company. He has to find a domain uh, to, to host his website. He has to create a website. He has to start recording his videos, strip out the, uh, the video part and use the audio for podcast. There's so much that uh, needs to be done, right? So that's why we create this passion project. And by the way, I have to share this anecdote as Gifted Gabber. This company was started by my older son when he was 15. OK, um, I hired a, a coach for him and he built this whole company where he was teaching kids how to communicate and how to code. That was his passion. Then he went ahead uh, to college and everything. I just took over the name and I uh, started doing the counseling. Right. So that is that is how he got into all the top colleges, because he was passionate about something, some cause. And uh, he did that. And through his um, he was so crazy. <laughs> right. So he would he, he got a a Bitcoin ATM from Russia and he wanted to paint, uh, spray paint that orange, right? I encouraged him. And um, so so that's where he is now. He, he, he graduated from Georgia Tech in uh, two and a half years. Uh, he's doing his master's. Uh, then he decided, uh, he was he's very good at Python coding. So he's like, oh, I want to go to Biomed. So he started interning in um, 
in Moderna and all that. So children have so many ideas. We want to bring them to fruition, right? We want to guide them to bring out that idea, right? And, and, and make it into a project uh, on paper, right? So that's what the passion project is about. It's dedicated for that. Joe, I know you need to go, but can I ask one quick question? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Is, a, is this a myth or is it, is it true? Like my nephew, he's in Augusta. He got in the PSMD and he said in uh, his college, in his program, they're all from Georgia and only one or two are from out, out of state. Yeah. And, she, and so we are like in North Carolina, so we don't have a PSMD. Okay, I have a college list. You're jumping too many steps ahead. You are right. Um, my student Shreya, who got into Augusta, was from Atlanta. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I, I just people from out of state to get into these programs and because... why do you okay augusta is not the only school yeah, yeah not augusta, but is it true for other bsmds no as well? no i have a whole uh, list of bsmd which my students apply to they can come from out of state uh, yeah 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 augusta it's not even on my list i i i only put augusta if uh, you're from uh, this one where is yeah. it okay okay all yeah, right. so I have a whole list that uh, I go over. Uh, it has all my requirements that are needed. Like they will tell you clearly uh, if a program uh, favors uh, residents, right? For example, okay. that's Plume. Uh, they will tell you very, very clearly. Uh, let me just, invitation only, for example, Cooper. We don't even care. We don't even apply to Cooper. We don't care about, I mean, it's not like that, but we know our students don't stand a chance there. I'm just going to show you, uh, like, for example, Hofstra needs 10% graduating class. Um, yeah. See this, Indiana University, it says uh, residents of Indiana, uh, rural Indiana only. We don't even apply there. Uh, Indiana residents only. So my student uh, is from Indiana. She applied to University of Evansville. Right. So based on where the student is coming from, we, we pick the college. There are so many BSMD colleges. So we don't care much about it. Like, no, like in our state, North Carolina, we don't have a BSMD. That's so okay. I'm, North okay. Carolina, why do you have to live in North Carolina? You go out of North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, but do they accept out of state? That was my question. Please, or they do. give you scholarship. I'm telling you, SLU throws money at you to come to their college. Okay. okay. What, yeah, I have certain colleges that I pick, which are like uh, good safeties. Okay, okay. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just one college. And Augusta is, uh, doesn't give much scholarship. Uh, Shreya didn't get any money. Uh, she, she, she was from Atlanta. She okay. didn't get much money, right? I, 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 I build a profile where they give you money. Uh, Sai so got uh, 125K scholarship from SLU. That's important. Yeah. So you need to worry about college list next year when you're actually yeah. applying. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and out of state, please don't think you're going to keep your daughter in North Carolina. They're going to no, no, I don't want to keep her, but she feels deterred that uh, most of the BSMB take their own students from their state and no, not from... Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, Sanjit, Sanjit got in-state fees from SLU. Sanjit is from California. He applied to SLU. They gave him, well, they will give you a state uh, fee. And there oh. are so many colleges that give you scholarship. Oh, come on. I have a lot. Okay. Of, a lot All right, thank you. About it. Yeah. Yeah. And my, and she's exceptional. Your daughter's exceptional. So don't worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, wonderful. I loved all your questions. Uh, thank you for coming over and asking them. Um, I'll let you guys go. Have a wonderful evening now. Bye. Thank you. Bye.